A warm greeting. Today is Saturday, December 24, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I would like to talk about the evolution of the El Niño phenomenon in the East Pacific region, as well as the anomalies of warmer temperatures on the surface of the ocean that prevail in the North Atlantic region. Specifically, I would like to provide an overview of what we can expect in the coming months and how this could impact cyclonic activity in the Atlantic Ocean Basin in anticipation of the 2024 hurricane season. However, I would like to clarify that these are long-term projections, and forecasts with so many months in advance can have significant variations. The evolution of the El Niño or La Niña phenomenon is something that can be forecasted well in advance due to our extensive record of different El Niño or La Niña events. If we review the cyclonic activity we saw during the year 2023, remember that the El Niño phenomenon was developing in the Pacific. This is usually correlated with hurricane seasons that are less active than usual in the Atlantic. Although, during this year, we witnessed a very particular event, unprecedented in recent decades, where the temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean were so warm that it counteracted the effects of the El Niño phenomenon, which usually generates strong shear winds across the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, and the Eastern Caribbean. However, the unusually warm temperatures in the tropical Atlantic caused the shear wind to remain below normal, despite historical observations that El Niño events tend to suppress cyclonic activity in the Atlantic. In fact, the hurricane season of 2023 ended up being one of the most active we have seen in the North Atlantic region. As expected, the major cyclonic activity concentrated in the tropical Atlantic and the southwestern North Atlantic. That is, the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico experienced less activity than usual, thanks to the El Niño phenomenon. And although during the fall and now in winter, the El Niño phenomenon continues to strengthen in the Pacific, global models predict that we will begin to see a significant weakening of the El Niño phenomenon by spring. We may possibly be moving towards neutral or La Niña conditions prior to the start of the 2024 hurricane season. Therefore, it is very likely that between February and May, we will begin to see colder than usual temperatures in the equatorial region of the East Pacific. Unfortunately, the Atlantic seems to be experiencing very warm surface temperatures during spring and the upcoming summer. In fact, in its latest ENSO forecast, NOAA is predicting that for the months of July, August, and September, there is only a 10% chance that the El Niño phenomenon will continue. However, there is about a 45% chance of the La Niña phenomenon or neutral ENSO conditions developing. Regardless of whether we have the La Niña phenomenon or neutral conditions, this could favor a very active hurricane season in the North Atlantic region. In combination, we are talking about up to a 90% chance of having La Niña or neutral ENSO conditions. This, coupled with the warm temperatures that are likely to continue through the tropical Atlantic, seems to indicate that the 2024 hurricane season could be quite active. In fact, the consensus of long-term North American models already predicts that the Atlantic will likely remain extremely warm, even warmer than it was during the year 2023. In the East Pacific region, you can see this area of colder than usual waters, which is typical of La Nina phenomena. So, the combination of La Nina with a very warm North Atlantic unfortunately suggests signs of a season that could be very active and dangerous. In the precipitation anomalies forecast, you can see that the ensemble of North American models is predicting more rain than usual across the tropical Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico. This could be an indication of increased cyclonic activity. It is also worth mentioning that it seems that the East Pacific may also be quite active despite the possible development of the La Nina phenomenon. This is mainly because it is also forecasted that the East Pacific region and the western part of Mexico may experience warmer than usual ocean surface temperatures. The important thing is to recognize that this is a long-term forecast, and there is no reason to worry. We will have many months to continue analyzing the evolution of ocean surface temperatures in the North Atlantic and the East Pacific, and more importantly, the evolution of ENSO, and to see if the El Niño phenomenon finally ends and we observe the development of neutral ENSO conditions or the La Niña phenomenon. Remember that here at Hurricane Info, I will be accompanying you again during the 2024 hurricane season. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button below this video. I hope all our followers and friends have an excellent Christmas and a happy start to the year 2024. Goodbye.